everyone. Welcome to Pipes, Tobacco, and Whiskey. So today we've got a really interesting mm -hmm. tobacco that we wanted to share with you guys. But before we do that, I wanted to uh, just get some information out to you guys because I found uh, a pipe repair guy that I did not know about. And let me give you a little bit of a, of a background on this. I bought a pipe back in December from smokingpipes.com. It was a Yakano Flamingo, uh, mm -hmm. and it was beautiful grain. And it had, on the very end of it, an olive wood extension, an accent, okay? And the stem went inside the olive wood, and then the olive wood went inside the briar. That's pretty cool. Okay? Well, that broke off about two, two three weeks ago. And I, I did, you know, I had smoked it maybe six times at the most. Yeah. So I called Smoking Pipes up and explained to them what was going on. And, uh, of course, you know, I'd already smoked the pipe and everything like that. So there wasn't going to be a chance for returns. But I thought maybe they could repair it. Well, they gave me a name of a person that they suggested to do the repairs. And obviously, uh, this person has done work for them before. Uh, and so they gave me the name uh, of a gentleman by the name of Silas Walls. Silas. Yeah. Silas Walls. And he lives in Wallace, Idaho. And probably, uh, just like me, I had not heard of this gentleman. And uh, so talking to the people at Smoking Pipes, they said, yeah, he does great work. Send it to him and he'll, he'll get it fixed up. So I emailed uh, Silas and uh, explained to him what the problem was with the pipe. And he was like, yeah, no problem. Just send it to me. Uh, here's my address and everything like that. And so I sent it to him. And uh, he said, I, I asked him, hey, do I need to pay you for this up front? What, you know, what? He said, no, nah, I'll just send you a bill. Oh, okay. So I sent the pipe. About a week later, pipe comes back to me. <clears throat> Pristine condition. Excellent workmanship. Very, very, very good job. And he even kind of buffed the pipe a little bit to, yeah. make, to make it shiny. It was really nice. And, uh, you know, I, I checked the stem and all of that. And everything fits really, really well. And then I pulled out of the box that he sent it in. Uh, an old-fashioned, handwritten invoice. You know, the old style invoices with his address on there and everything like that. And I started looking at it and it was $15. $15 to get this thing fixed. You know, uh, plus he put the shipping on there. So it came to like $23. You know, it wasn't anything. And I was like, man, this is, this is pretty cool. And, you know, nothing on there about, you know, hey, send money to my PayPal account. Or here's how you can pay online. Yeah. No, I, I wrote him a check, put it in the mail, done deal. So, you know, that's kind of that old school uh, uh, business style, you know, where they do the work. They trust you to take care of business after they do the work. Uh, it, it was really a great experience. So, guys, I want you to check this guy out, man. His name is Silas Walls at Walls Pipe Repair in Wallace, Idaho. I'm going to put the information uh, on how you can contact him with his email and also his physical address and phone number. Uh, I really recommend this guy. Yeah. And if you've got any kind of pipe repair work that you need to have done, <coughs> you should uh, contact him at least and see how much uh, that he can do it for. Because I thought this was super reasonable to get to. I mean, it's a, yeah. it's yeah. a $400 pipe. Yeah. You know, well, it's, for I 15 mean, bucks to repair, you know. so To get any anybody who is a repair piper or a piper uh, of any sort to touch your pipe, to like do work on it, anything short of 50 bucks is a sweet deal. So long as it's good. Yeah. You know, I'll touch your pipe for less than 50 bucks, but I can't guarantee it's going to work. Yeah, so I was really, really impressed. So, guys, again, get a hold of him. I'll post the information at the end of the video uh, so that you can uh, uh, contact him. All right, so today we are doing a Belgian tobacco. We are doing a tobacco by Tabac Menil, and this is Le Petit Robin. Uh, this is a uh, burly-based 
tobacco, and it is a Simois tobacco. Yeah. Um, it's um, blended by Vincent Manil. Uh, it's got Burleys, Kentuckys, and Virginias in it. There's no flavoring. Man, this is the sh shaggiest cut I have ever seen in my life. <laughs> I mean, John David Cole would refer to this as hamster cage yeah. filling. Yeah. It's what this is. Um, it's super, <clears throat> super fine cut. Um, it, it's really interesting. Uh, it comes in three and a half ounce ba uh, packages. You can get it at several places. I got this at smokingpipes.com. Uh, the strength on this is moderate, no flavorings. The taste on it is medium. So let's go ahead and jump in with this one, Le Petit Robin. What do you think about Le. the tin note on this one? Le Petit. Mm. So, for a burly blend, it has that typical stale burly scent. You know, that one that's it's like it's a little busty, kind of cigar-y. Yeah. Yet where, it's, where it's almost like it smells like it's on the verge of having some type of bacteria on it, too. <laughs> and that's the only thing I can say, because cigars are really, really humid. And so I just always think that because of the musty, earthy smell that you get from that kind of stuff, that maybe I don't want some bacterial thing on it. You can smoke <laughs> it, you know. But, uh, it has that typical burly smell, but it's really light and floral. It's got some very good, get very good tobaccos added in there too that elevate it, because that burly isn't overpowering. We've had a bur, we've had a couple burlies that we've done on this show. I don't think there's one we've liked. I don't think there's one. Well, well, we've one liked we've, them. One we've been able to like go. Yeah. Yeah, I know we've done a couple that that has had burly base in it, but this one is is unique in its haunted bookshop was one that yeah. had that that we really like. This is super unique in, in its scent. I, I get that musty earthiness. There's a little bit of spice in there. There's lots of grassiness. Uh, it is floral. There is mm -hmm. some floral hints to it, but I also get some sweetness in there, like like cocoa. And mushroom. Mm -hmm. There's a mushroom. Uh, smell this again. Smell this again. Out. See if you don't smell some tea in there. Like tea leaves. Yeah. Yeah. It's that, I still, the things that stand out, like you say, that mushroom smell that you're talking about. Yeah. That, it's that musty, earthy, fungal smell that I'm talking about. You know, and I, I say fungal. I'm not actually saying there's like a fungus inside of this. Yeah, movie. it's not a bad thing. It's no, just, it's just, it's got a very earthy, earthy, earthy scent to it. And the tea, tea leaves are, yeah. I get the thing in that tea, man. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, like bl like the black teas that, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. Yeah, it is. And, and and it's a much sweeter smell than I expected from a burly. I don't, I'm not quite sure what I expected, but I expected it to put me down. Yeah, but this is, it, this is really a cool uh, tin note on it. Okay, well, what about tastes? It's a pretty medium body taste. Slight nuttiness. Slight nuttiness. Uh, mostly, mostly once again. Oh, he dropped, dropped it right here. Damn. Yeah. All right. Slight, uh, yeah. Slight nuttiness. There's a slight nuttiness to it. Um, it's mostly some earthy flavors that I'm really getting out of it. It's it's lighter though. It's much lighter than what I was thinking it was, especially considering it's uh, it's a burly. Like it, like you said, it's a it's a primarily burly made tobacco, right? Well, in its description, it said it had thirty percent Semwa tobacco, which mm -hmm. is the burly, mm -hmm. uh, and then seventy percent a mixture of what they call mellow, smooth, golden tobaccos, which include those uh, Kentuckys and those Virginias that are in there as well. Okay, so you're getting you're getting a there's a good portion of burley in this. So you would it would be safe to assume that even though the other side of the mixture is seventy percent other stuff, probably one of the primary components into it is mostly burley. Well, thirty percent of it is that one type of tobacco. A type of tobacco. And then the other seventy percent is a mixture of other tobaccos. So yeah, it's it's you know it's 
it's got the nuttiness, like you said. I, I get some wood tastes in there. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a little spice, some earthiness. So pretty much all the things that I got out of the tin note are coming through on the flavors as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, I get that, that. You know, I mentioned that I smelled a little bit of cocoa. I get that taste. Uh, a little bit of molasses and sweetness coming through. Uh, so the Virginias are coming through with that hay. Yes. kind of taste in yes. there so yeah it's it's really really interesting now the thing with this i'm already halfway through my bowl because of the shag cut yeah me and too. It, it burns very quickly you have to you have to smoke it slow and you have to pack it pretty tight mm -hmm. if you're going to get a, a, a lasting yeah. smoke out of it otherwise it'll burn up quick yep, are you getting a, anything else on the flavors we'll say one thing it really, really reminds me of a, just the, the, the aftertaste you kind of get is cigar-like. Once again, I'm getting a little bit more that cigarness to it. And I honestly think, I think Burleys are treated the same way as some cigars. Or maybe it's just the cigars I've smoked. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not a big cigar fan, so I don't smoke cigars rarely. I don't have one one or two a month, you know, maybe maybe more than that, but see now you know, I'm I, I still am getting a little bit of that taste. The the thing that I'm enjoying about this so far though as well is I have put this pipe down just in us recording probably two or three times and I haven't puffed on it for at least a minute straight. It stays it lit. It stays lit. Yeah. So I'm well. I'm, that's that shag. It's cut. that shag cut. Yeah. I do enjoy the fact that I could just go. Ah, I'm gonna talk a bit, grab a drink, hold my pipe, make sure things are good, and then go back to it. So, so now some some new flavors are coming through. I'm more than halfway through with it. Now I'm getting some some breadiness in there. I'm getting a maltiness in yeah. there. Some dark fruit in there as well. It's really that's, that's what it, it's a multi flavor. Yeah. I'm getting. Yeah. It's really interesting. It's really, really interesting. It, it has a slight mineral taste to it as well. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Like mineral water? No, no. Like a, like, it's hard to explain. Like some, like some seafoods you might eat have a very strong iron or mineral kind of uh, yeah, I get what you're taste. saying. Yeah, and it, this this kind of has a little bit of that in there as well. It's really really interesting. I, I, I'm a kind of enjoying. It. I am too. Yeah, I am too. Especially considering that some of the other shag cuts we've tried are ones of the nature like penny farthing, and <laughs> which we didn't care for. No. Yeah, that one was one of the hardest smokes I've ever had to do. <laughs> well, we did that in that slow smoke too, and that was it was, that was it brutal. Was sick. It was cruel and unusual punishment yeah. what they made us do. Uh, okay, so what do you think about the room note on this one? Once again, the notes go from the 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 smell that you get from the tin note seems to come out in the room note as well. So it's very similar. Just add a bit of smokiness to it. This is where I get that cigar hint. That's that you what you were like talking that. about talk, yeah. in the room note. I get the cigar kind of yeah. smell in the room note. Uh, there is there is a little bit of grassiness in that room note as well, and, and still some some herbs and some uh, floral too. Yeah. It's it's pretty good. It's it's a pretty good all around, and that's the thing that I like about this. I'm really enjoying about it is. What you get is what you get. Yeah. yeah it, it's a really consistent, by far maybe one of the most consistent tobaccos that we've had. You know, it, it smells kind of musty and earthy in the jar. It smells kind of musty and earthy. There's some lightness to it. Uh, and then the room notes the same way. It's just all the way through the smoke, all the way through the, the whole process. It stands true to what it's starting to be. I wonder where the name came from, though. His... Son was named Robin, and so Le Petit means the small yeah. Robin or the young Robin. Yeah, mm -hmm. so that's that's where he the name came from. Um, yeah, uh, interesting room note. What do you think about the moisture level on this? It was pretty dry. I would say it is pretty dry, but I haven't had a shag cut yet that doesn't feel yeah, I think around that dry. Like I think that. it's intended to be dry. You know, this is this almost. 
it's almost as dry as what cigarette packages come in. You know, like cigarettes themselves, they come that dry. I wonder what this would be like in a roll your own. Huh. That'd be, that'd be interesting. I mean, I don't do that kind of thing. I wouldn't either. But I know that there's people out there that do roll their own cigarettes with... Still, them. technically nowadays, the, from what I'm seeing, the cigarette prices would still be cheaper. Cheaper. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And more flavorful than mine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, what do you think about the nicotine content? This one's about a moderate. I've had, I've had way stronger. I can say that. This is, this is a, definitely a good after-dinner smoke. Or a good, I want to chill smoke. Because I'm not wanting to get up and do anything. I mean, I never yeah. do want to smoke anyway. But this one is a little little higher, but I'd say good. I, I'm, I'm leaning towards the medium on this uh -huh. one. Uh, I wouldn't want to smoke this on an empty stomach, for sure. Yeah, uh, I guess that is different. Because we are, we are shooting right after dinner. Yeah, I wouldn't want to smoke it on an empty stomach, but... You know, it's it's not a killer. It's not it's not really going to be high. Well, um, just a few things about this blend. Uh, we talked about its content. You need to smoke this slowly. Uh, it will be cool and have no bite if you smoke yes. it slowly. Yes. The faster you smoke, the more tongue bites you're going to get, and the less of an enjoying smoke you're going to get. Yeah, and because of its shag cut, it's going to burn quick. Yeah, you're going to uh, be disappointed. You're going you're gonna to need two bowls of this, probably. Yeah, just to or get a the big bowl. A big pot bowl pipe. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I'm still I'm using a pretty big bowl, and even still, you still got to take your time with this one. There's every now and then some rough edges when I smoke this one. It burns pretty clean. Uh, we talked about the consistency of the flavor all the way mm -hmm. through. Yeah. Uh, it's got a sweetness to it. There's something about this. It's got a sweetness that I like. That I I, I, I I'm not necessarily going to classify it as a dessert tobacco. Yeah. But it's there's a sweetness there that's really interesting and that, that I like a lot. Um, doesn't leave any moisture in the bowl at all. It has a lingering rich aftertaste. Yes. Uh, to me, it's not an all-day smoke. I wouldn't say so either. Uh, it's, it, you'd be smoking this a lot if, if, if you were going to smoke it all day because it burns so quickly. Yes. Uh, I've been told that this one does well in a long stem pipe. I guess to help cool it off. Like a church warden or Yeah, something. to cool, cool the store or prints or something like yeah. that to cool it off. Um, and in reading some of the information on this blend, it took several years for Manil to develop this particular uh, tobacco really, blend. Must be really looking for a specific taste. Well, that Semois is unique. It, it's not like other Burleys. Uh, and so it's it's pretty pretty interesting in itself. Yeah. Uh, so again, we said this comes in three and a half ounce packages, and it comes in like a brick, is what it is. And then you gotta kind of break it up, up put, yeah, put it in your jar and everything. Works out to be about almost eight dollars an ounce, seven ninety nine an ounce. So it is a little bit high. Yeah. But then again. It's coming from overseas, uh, and it's not always available, so you kind of got to keep your eye out for it. Absolutely. Oh, oh that, what do you think about it? What are you going to give it? Well, by the standings of Burleys, the scores that I've given Burleys before this, I would say this is still up there as one of a more preferential Burleys. Uh, I'm going to give it a three and a half shots. I like it. It's pretty good. Uh, I'm say it just doesn't beat some of the fantastic Virginias and Englishes that I've had before. That just standalone are awesome. I like this. I like this for a change. I don't want to smoke this all the time. Mm -hmm. But for a change of pace, especially in the summertime, right now when yeah. it's hot and everything, this is a, a pretty uh, easy smoke. Yeah. Um, I, I'm not a big burly person. Me neither. So, you know, but for a change, this, 
I have to say this one better brown because I've yeah. tasted it. Yeah. So, but I'm I'm with you on this. I think three and a half is about as high as I'm gonna go with it. I like it. I'm not sure I'd go, I'd buy it again. Well, and, and the price range to me is a little off-putting as well, considering I'm just not a burly enjoyer. Mm -hmm. But this is a good burly. Yeah. I like it. Uh, it's it's tasty. Um, but you're right. There's a couple of factors: there's accessibility, price range. Uh, you have to work it a little bit to, to get it to smoke right in your life. And, and another thing, it's one of those tobaccos that tells you how to smoke, not you smoke the tobacco the way you want to. Well, and it's it's just because just because I mean, you can smoke it whatever way you want, but enjoy tasting tar. <laughs> Well, yeah, you have to smoke this one nice and slow. Yeah, you have for, to take your time. To get the enjoyment out of it. All right, so three and a half shots. Let's yes. Stop. Let's yes. get our shark glasses. Get shark glasses up here. One, two, three. Yeah, don't spill it. And a half. All right, so this is uh, Tabac Manil's Le Petit Robin. Um, uh, you know, I enjoyed it. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I would not turn this one down. I would, um, and I would, I would share it confidently with, with other people. Too. Yeah, I think that's a good. Hey, you need to give this a try. You know, this yeah. is interesting. This is unique. This is you might really like this. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so you know, that's our thoughts on this one, guys. Uh, if you can find it, and, and it's 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 not as hard to get as let's say Germain's or as Erica or some Samuel Gallus stuff. Uh, you can find this a little bit easier. Yes. Uh, but still, it, you have to kind of keep a watch for it if you're interested in trying this one. Yep. Uh, again, uh, Silas Walls, great job on my repair of my Yakano pipe. So uh, you guys check them out, man. I'm, uh, I'll, I'll post that email information and, and his contact information if you want to try to get hold of him. Yeah, that's another one in the in the books. Heck yeah! And this was this was rather this was a decent tobacco. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know I don't we don't try Burleys that often, and it's nice to, to kind of change it up a little bit. Well, and it's hard because none of us on the channel are Burley smokers. You know, Colton's a Virginia lover like me. I'm kind of a vapor guy. Yeah. You're an English guy. And Ian's an aromatic guy. So Burleys are kind of left out on their own island between the four of us. Yeah, I think I think it's fair for us to give it a shot and, give it a shot and yeah, know, because there's some people, let people know about it. Yeah, there's some great Burleys ones out there. All right, guys. Well, thanks again. We do appreciate you. Um, keep those comments coming. Keep those suggestions com coming. And don't forget, make all your piping moments count. Thanks a lot. Have a great week, and we'll see you next time. See you guys. Bye bye.